at this dude. It's a male movie. It's a male movie. It's a male movie. Uh, what's poppin', everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hey, man, if you haven't already, then. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the Blue Soda Gang family, best family on YouTube, and that's no cap, hands down. <laughs> been rocking with the family, you already know what's up, you already know what to do, throw it in the comment section, you've been rocking with this family, and if you're new to the family, you leave it in the comment section that you brand new to the family so everybody can welcome you to the family, you feel me? And thank you so much, thank you, thank you for joining the family. <laughs> hey man, all social media platforms down below. If you guys want to support me outside of YouTube, go down to the description whenever you can. Follow your boy on everything, including my other YouTube channels. We're about to get active, active, for real, for real, no cap. Hey man, we are here for one reason, one reason only. We got SML Movie, Jeffy the Lawyer. Jeffy, where was you at when I needed a lawyer, bro? I had to go hire, I got multiple lawyers. You guys know anything about what I've been going through, man? Lawyers for days, bro. Court dates for days, bro. Jail sentences for days. But now I'm playing. Well, not really, but I'm not in jail right now, so we good. <laughs> hey, man, we're going to do Let's Talk About Reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let's go. I get the last Oreo. No, I get the last Oreo. No, I get it. Cause I my house. Get it. I don't guys, guys, my parents might be getting divorced, and I've already heard enough yelling today. I don't care. Boring. We don't care about your parents getting divorced, bro. Tyrone, we cheating on your mama anyway. It's all good. Give it to me, What's going on here? Well, Jeffy, there's only one Oreo left, and I believe it belongs to me because it's my house and they're my Oreos. No, it doesn't, dude. I'm the guest. I should get the last Oreo. Well, in my opinion, why don't you guys cut it in half and then you each get a piece? <gasps> Wait, that would be fair. We would both get half the Oreo. Dude, how did you come up with that? Whoa, Jeffy, you're a genius. You should... Sharing is caring. You should be a lawyer. Really? Yeah, you should take the bar exam and become a lawyer. What's your bar exam? It's a test that you take to become a lawyer, as previously implied. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, Jeff, you'll be a really good lawyer. All right, Joseph, let's split this Oreo. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Sorry, you'll get in it. You can't cut it in three. You can't cut it in three. All right, welcome to the Florida State Bar Exam. In order to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. Why is he blindfolded? So I have a bunch of candy bars laid out here in front of you, and you have to smell each one and then correctly identify it, because a lawyer smell needs to have it? a good sense of smell. Like, you have to be able to smell if somebody's guilty or not, like you smell out a rat, okay? So let's start with an easy one. Smell that. The bar exam, so the candy bar exam. Hershey's. Oh, very good, wow. of course. How about this? Snickers. Snickers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds like a slur, but let's try this one. Twix. Okay, okay, that's good. What about I actually do have a Snickers and a Butterfingers in my uh, uh, pantry. What about this? Finger in my butt. Oh no, Butterfinger. Well, almost, Finger almost in my butt. There. Okay, let's try this one. Kit Kat. Okay, that's good. Now this one. This one's a hard one. What, what is that? What kind of, what a candy is that? Uh, what you call it? Well, okay, that's it. You passed the bar. Oh, what's my call it? I've never heard of that candy bar before. Yeah, congratulations, you are now a lawyer. Yay! Hey, Daddy, I'm a lawyer now. I passed the bar exam. But Jeffy, you're too young to drink. What? No, Jeffy, you can't be a lawyer. <laughs> the bar exam. Or there's no way I'm you dead. passed the bar exam. Well, I did. I smelled all the candy bars and guessed them correctly. Yeah, your son's a lawyer now. But Jeffy's not smart enough to be a lawyer. Well, he's the first person I've ever met to actually pass the bar exam without even studying. It took me three times. It was that damn whatchamacallit. It just smells like chocolate. Jeffy, why would you want to become a lawyer? Because I want to help people and make a lot of money. Yeah, lawyers get paid, bro. No one's going to hire you no, to be- Lawyers get paid, bro. Yeah, they be taking all my money, bro. A lawyer, Jeffy. No one's going to trust you. Well, people have actually been blowing up his phone all day. They saw that commercial he made. What, a commercial? Yeah, look. Hey there! Been in a car accident? Someone chewing you? Got a boo boo? We'll call babu bop bop and babu. A babu boo boo babu boo boo. I don't get paid unless you do. So call us right now. 
Babu bap bap babu. This message was approved by Jeffy. Babu bap bap babu. Babu bap bap and babu. I'll hire you, law or er, lawyer. I'll hire you, Jeffy. I need another lawyer, anyways, bro. I got some things I gotta take care of. You feels me? Attorneys at law, daddy. That's ridiculous. No one's gonna hire you. Well, I actually hired him for my restraining order case later today. A actually, you know what, Jeffy? You have a case coming up. You better get to it. All right. All right, daddy. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm so proud of Jeffy being a big boy lawyer. A big boy lawyer. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jackie Chu, whose Chinese restaurant is in danger of being shut down by the health inspector, who claims that he has been cooking cat and dog and serving it to people as food. Mr. Health Inspector, what have you witnessed in his Chinese restaurant? I witnessed them taking cats and dogs out of cages, cooking them, and then serving them as orange chicken. Good lord. And I love orange chicken. Mr. Chu, these are I don't know about y'all, but orange chicken is a must. Anytime I go to a Chinese restaurant, order Chinese anything, or cook Chinese, bro, I gotta have some orange chicken. No care, bro. Very serious no care. and gross accusations. What do you have to say about this? I do serve cat and dog, but it's delicious. Wow, you just admitted it. Just like that. Okay, wow. well, does your lawyer have anything to say to help you get out of this situation? Yes, your honor. My client does serve cat and dog, but my question to you... Have you ever tried it? God, no. Cats and dogs are so cute and cuddly. I would never eat them. Never. Your Honor, there's an old saying. Don't knock it till you try it. And I believe... I mean, that is true. Don't knock it till you try it. I do agree to that, though. For real, for real. <laughs> I believe you should try it before you judge. Hmm. You make a good point. I've never tried it, so I guess I don't actually know what it tastes like. Yeah, go ahead and give it a little try. I'm gonna have one piece. Ugh. Oh, he's in love with it. It's now gonna be legalized to eat cats and dogs now. Watch. Why'd he drop it though? He goes. Hey God, he goes. This is the greatest thing. Oh, he's about to dive into that plate. Watch. I'm gonna eat it. Yep. <clears throat> Mr. Chu, you are not guilty. This is delicious. Jeffy won his first case. Mr. Health Inspector, you are fired and no longer allowed to inspect food. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Jeffy. Thank you so much for saving my family's restaurant. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Gang, check out this babu. Moo Moo Guac Guac. Jeffy, Moo 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 Guac Guac. Or Moo Moo Guac Guac. <laughs> Hey right, Jeffy, let me get alone, my boy. Let me get alone. Just a little bit. Little, 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 just something off top. You feel me? I got you tatted on my leg, bro. Get all this no, I thought. Guap, 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 guap. Oh, my first case today, Dad. Paper. And he was bing bong as fuck. What, Jeffy, you actually want a case? Marvin, he passed his bar exam. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, sure do, Dad. Now I got another case to get ready for, so let me go ahead and break you off a piece of this bread right here. Give you a few bread crumbs, cause you know I gotta give you a few of those good bread crumbs and cook you up cause you my daddy. Right? You my daddy. That's good. Alright, Jeffy, where's my cup, my boy? Come on now. Order, order, Don't be stingy order. now. Sharing is caring. And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who wants to file a restraining order against his brother Jonathan for trying to hook up with his wife. Brooklyn Guy, and tell me what has happened. So my brother Jonathan is a 30-year-old virgin who still lives with our mom. And well, technically, Jonathan actually has been in your body and your wife. So technically, he's not really a virgin, you feel me? I mean, he is with his own wee-wee, you feel me? But he technically got it in with your wee-wee. He's always hitting on my wife and trying to bang her, so I just want to he get a restraining banging. order so he can't come near me or my wife. Very understandable. Jonathan, is any of this true? Well, Brooklyn guy is just jealous because his wife thinks I'm a total hunk. She's always staring at me up and down trying to get a glimpse of my meat whistle. Like, damn, lady, whistle. I'm a human too. I have feelings. I'm not just a piece of eye candy you get to suck on. See, my client is a victim. It's true. Oh, bullshit. Your Honor, Jonathan's lying. No woman is a trap. Brooklyn guy, you don't even like your wife, bro. You always complaining about your wife. You might as well let your wife do her thing, bro. Did the hell? Order, order, order. Everybody settle down. Karen, do you feel like you're in danger of Jonathan? Like maybe he's stalking you or trying to do things to you? Well, he does say a lot of weird things. 
Yes, Your Honor, she feels afraid. I see. Well, Jonathan, I have no choice but to grant the restraining order, unless your lawyer would like to say anything about this case. Oh, 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 sorry, Your Honor. I got a booger on my nose. It's a deep booger. Come here, booger. Get out of my nose. Oh, no, he said booger three times. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, your imaginary friend, booger. Yeah, I know, booger. Go away, I'm in court. Oh, did you do something bad, huh? huh? Did you get a DUI? No. Did you rob a bank? No. Did you kill someone? I'm gonna kill you if you don't go away. Oh, come on, Booker guy. You don't mean that. Shut the hell up, booger. Mr. Guy, who are you talking to? No one, Your Honor. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy. You don't want to tell me about your best pal, booger. Are you his booger? Shaved of me. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm like your hype man. I'm always there saying, you the man, Brooklyn guy. You the freaking man. I know, booger. And then if anyone ever says you're not the man, But that's the judge. You want me to go mess with him? No, please don't. I'm gonna go mess with him. No, Booger, don't. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head talking to you? Possibly. Your Honor, Brooklyn Guy is clearly insane. He's not mentally stable and he's making false claims of Jonathan stalking his wife. I am mentally stable. Booger, get away from the judge. Stop trying to give him a wet willy. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your Oh, uh, Brooklyn Guy about to end up in a uh, mental uh, hospital, right? <laughs> Go ahead, speaking to you. I'm giving him a wet willy, Brooklyn guy! Yes, Your Honor, there is a very annoying-ass voice who really needs to shut the hell up! Hey, Brooklyn guy, did you see what I did to that judge? I gave him a wet willy! Yeah, I saw it, booger! Oh, did you like it? Was it funny? Shut the hell up! Oh, that's not very nice, Brooklyn guy! Shut up or I'll kill you! I have heard enough! Mr. Guy, you are clearly mentally unwell, so I will not be granting your restraining order. I will, however, be admitting you to a mental health facility immediately. I told you. What? No, a mental health facility? Oh, you think I serve pizza there? My favorite's pepperoni. Shut the fuck up, Bogar. Oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? It tastes pretty decent with hands. I ain't gonna lie, if you guys watched my video I posted a few days ago, because you guys, for the real ones, my, my real supporters, you guys know, obviously, why I was gone for so long. I actually had a mental situation. I had a manic episode, and I was seeing things that wasn't there. I was talking to people that wasn't there as well. So I kind of understand the situation, but yeah. I'm good now, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> yes, justice is served. And now with the Oakland guy gone, Karen will be all alone for me to try to bang her. Oh, thank you, Jeffy. You're the best lawyer ever. Babu, 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 babu. Oh, man, look, I just got back from KFC and look at all these 10 piece chickens I got. Baby, you just want another case. Jeffy, thank you for my new purse. And thanks for my. Oh, he's swimming in that cash. Hey, man, where's my money at, Jeffy? Come on now. I thought we was like this, bro. I'm Maybe feeling some type of way. Sure thing, buddy. Here, here go another 10 piece for the mall. Yeah. Here you go, mommy. You can have your 10 piece too. No sauce on that bit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Keep winning cases. I'm gonna go shopping. Order, 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 order. order. I'm the Honorable Judge Pooper. And today we will be hearing the case of Tyrone and Judith. Judith wants a divorce from Tyrone because he has been cheating on her. Judith, Told let's you. hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, Tyrone just keeps cheating on me over and over again with so many women. Tyrone going to play stupid watch. I just want to be done. Hmm. Tyrone, what do you have to say? Now listen, everybody owns more than one pair of shoes. You don't just wear the same pair every day. That's me with pussy. I want the house in That's me with pussy. Pussy. Everything. Now, ho, I pay all the bills. You can have the boy. I don't want the boy. I want the house. Order, order, order. Cody, your parents okay. don't love you. It sounds like the divorce is settled. It is happening. But now we need to figure out who gets the house and all of the assets. Jeffy, what do you think? I think that you take a chainsaw, you cut the house in half, and everything they own in half, so it's 50 50. Hmm, that's fair. I like it. I grant you both 50 50 of everything. Cut everything in half with it. Including Cody? We gonna cut Cody in half too? The chainsaw. The boy too. Fucking what? Hell, I'll get the chainsaw. I'll hold him down. What now? Babu, bab, bab, babu. Beep, beep, beep. It's Amazon Prime. I got another package for you. Shine right here, Daddy. Shimmy! Daddy, Shimmy! Is that a jacket made out of South African leopard ass? What it look like? Beep! Mommy, is that jacket made out of Antarctic polar bear puss? It was shaved. It wasn't tortured. Okay, well, I got another case. Your friend Goodman hit a kid with his Lamborghini, so I gotta go try to save him. The kid? No. 
Let's put it in a Not the kid. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer. And today we will... I should have hired Jeffy as my lawyer at this point, man. Maybe I would be going through these cases that I'm going through quick, bro. We'll be hearing the case man. of Mr. Goodman, who is being accused of running over a child in his Lamborghini and driving away. The mother saw the Lamborghini hit him. So, mother, tell us what happened. <laughs> my boy was trying with this chalk in the road and this rich guy in the Lamborghini ran him over and he didn't even try to stop. Mr. Goodman, is this awful accusation true? You didn't even try to stop? Well, Your Honor, I was getting road hit from this 10 out of 10 baddie. I was in a throat trance, so I wasn't even paying attention while I was driving. Mm. And that's why sometimes getting road hit ain't all what it's backed up to be, because uh, I had a few instances where, you know, you kind of like, oh, almost getting an accident. <laughs> so you were distracted while Just park driving somewhere. and killed a little boy. Well, it sounds like you're guilty. Unless your lawyer can get you out of this mess. Well, Your Honor, to be fair, you weren't fucking there. You didn't see what happened, and neither did I. The boy's mom could be lying. She probably wasn't even there. So how can you judge what happened if you weren't there? Hmm, that's true. I wasn't there. Everything could be a lie. Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't. Mr. Goodman, you are not guilty of vehicular manslaughter and hit and run. What? No! He killed my little boy! This is not justice! <laughs> Thank God! I'm going to celebrate by getting more road hit! Thank you, Jeffy! Babu, bap, bap, babu. Marvin, you're- Jeffy, I need to hire you, my boy. Son's a genius. He won my case. I got sucked off on the way here. I'm gonna get sucked off on the way home. Mr. Goodman, do they have any mouthwash? Get back in the car, chinchilla! Okay. Chinchilla. And Marvin, I'm taking this 10000 for your house payment this month. It doesn't matter. Jeffy, print money. Here, money, print machine. Beep! Beep! Well, buddy, I actually don't want to be a lawyer anymore. What, what do you mean, Why? Jeffy? I didn't like it. What <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, don't like, like it. it. Cash green guap, cash green guapo. I don't like it. Marvin, if Jeffy doesn't want to be a lawyer, he doesn't have to be a lawyer anymore. Put the cash in the green in the bib. Marvin, we had enough. <sighs> babu, bap, bap, babu. Damn, Jeffy. Well, you better put that money to the side then, my boy. You feel, or you could just give it to you. I'll, I'll take it off your hands if you don't, if you don't want that money. You feel me? Just saying. Cash app at Nate P. Fleming. <laughs> what is your dream job? I am doing my dream job. YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. That was, that was my dream job for a very long time before I started taking YouTube serious. And now I'm actually about to take it way more serious. On to the next level. No cap. When I tell you I'm on that grind mode, bro. Not just this channel. My other reaction channel and my extra channel and my live channel. We about to get active in this. No cap. Hey, man, if y'all made it to the end, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below. Click that bell while you're at it. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out.